This is Angela Davis. Y'all charged her with terrorism, you know what I'm saying? And just like Angela Davis, you charged me with terrorism. I fought y'all. I fought the law and the law lost. It was about your war on drugs and your illegal, illegal incarceration of the black community. I showed the 13th Amendment for a reason, because I lived this shit. I breathe this shit. I am this shit. You feel me? Rain and shine, we doing it. We still doing it. We still doing it. You need to watch the 13th Amendment. I use the 13th Amendment because I'm going to expose the Democratic Party in Maryland and the role that they play in mass incarceration. You got to give me a day in court. I beat you in court. You took my property, and I'm going to take what belongs to me. It's a Davis thing. It's a Davis thing. Angela Davis, Dwayne Davis, Keith Davis. You feel me? Davis is strong. We're not weak. Rain or shine. And we had a good crowd till the rain came, but we're still doing it. See the prison population in 2014? 2.3 million black people locked up. 85% were black. You took fathers away from families. You made our mothers take care of our sons and daughters. You created collateral consequences. Trayvon Martin, Tyrone West, Anthony Anderson. You started killing us like you was lynching us. Sandra Bland, Maurice Donald Johnson, Anthony Anderson. You was killing black boys like you hung us in trees. Like Billy Holiday song, Fruit from the Forbidden Tree. Whoa. It's getting windy out here. White privilege. You not only let police kill black people, you let citizens kill black people. But if I kill a white man, I go to jail for the rest of my black life. Black lives matter. I stand in my ground, that's why y'all can't stand me. I stand in my ground and I might check the crowd. I'm standing my ground, cause somebody gotta do it. Mike, check! In the rain and the snow, dog, wherever I go, that's why I'm going to carry y'all. I'm going to beat you in court because you got to take me to court sooner or later. If I go to court, we're going to change the laws. We're going to change the rules. Marching is good. But just like Thurgood Marshall and Martin Luther King, you got to march with a purpose. And your purpose is the courts. We got to change the laws or use the laws that are in effect for us and stop letting them use it against us. ALEC is the corporation that incarcerates us. In Baltimore City, you call it the Greater Baltimore Committee. is this private club and its members are politicians and corporations.
for the real tech news, food politicians and corporations being the same private club. Under the umbrella of Alice, now what I did is I made a documentary about Alec, the Greater Baltimore Committee, members of the Greater Baltimore Committee and the politicians that write the laws that incarcerate Baltimore City and Baltimore County. I used that toilet as a prop for a movie to expose y'all. I put your names and your faces on them toilets, just like Alec. I've been to Washington, I've been to Annapolis, you feel me? So you got to deal with it. You can't stop the truth from coming out. Ain't no law against making a movie. It is against the law for what you did to me. What I do, I do in the light of day. I'm going to finish what I started. You owe me, you're going to pay me. You're going to free me. You feel me? So, Alec, the corporation, we're going to equate that to the Greater Baltimore Committee. Donald Fry, he know me. We're going to talk about your prison industry and the investments that you have in the prison industry in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. The office of Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, and Marilyn Mosby that protect the corruption in the courts. I'm going after your courts and your money, dog. That's what I'm here for.